What's up, everybody? We got Baltimore Ravens and Cleveland Browns AFC Championship. Excited to bring this to you. Live commentary. We got Unrated as the Cleveland Browns and RC as the Baltimore Ravens. It's going to be a great matchup. And uh, we're going to be recording this live tonight. We're going to share it on our YouTube channel tomorrow. So if you hear me interacting with the live chat, that's kind of what I'm doing. If you guys have any questions about what you see in the gameplay, you can always text me. My number is 812 216 3644. It's in the description as well. But right off the rip here, got two competitors. To be honest with you, I know what RC is going to do. I'm not quite sure what Unrated is going to do. So looks like RC is going to do some different adjustments here. He's going ball in air defense to play ball. He's going to put his quarterback matchups to speed. It's interesting to me that he's setting his defensive adjustments up while he's on the offensive side of the ball. I actually think that's genius. Jay is pretty pumped up. Let's go. All right, so uh, RC is going to be running the New England Patriots on offense. Now, if you haven't picked up the New England Patriots offensive ebook that I wrote, it's over 300 pages long with over 36 formations, exclamation point, in E in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube later, this is available via the description. You can get that link right there. He's going to come out, start out with a little ISO run on Ezekiel Elliott. Letting Zeke do what Zeke is going to do. Now you're going to see him go to the trips tight end. Now the trips tight end is the bread and butter of this scheme. He's also got the U-trips and the gun bunch in his arsenal. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of what he does. He's got a really good spread as well. One of the things that I like about New England is obviously the best offense in the game, in my opinion, because it has the most options. You can do so many things from the New England Patriots playbook. Uh, in this game. So uh, be interested to see how RC runs this. Honestly, I haven't seen a whole lot of people. I've seen a lot of people running New England, but RC I know has the ebook. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how he uses it and interesting to see kind of what he does here. So he's going to go out with a little doubles in sale. Zeke Elliott to the sideline. A quick read there for a nice, easy seven yards. Good read by my man RC. All right. Looks like he's going to go to the RPO alert bubble. And going to take his little dive there. Good defense by Talented. Now, uh, Talented is running, I believe he's running Dime 146. Is that what I see? He might, I'm pretty sure he might be in Dime 236, but he's in some kind of Dime set. Um, got the drag there right off the rip. Godwin, or Marquise Goodwin to the sideline. Great read from my man RC. Getting going here. Jay, Jay, you picked up the ebook as well? I appreciate you guys picking up the ebook. If you haven't picked it up, exclamation point in E in the chat as well as in the description. But seriously, it's a beast of an ebook. Over 300 pages, man. It was a monster to put together. But it's it's a it's a wealth of Madden information. Looks like Dime 146 here for uh talented, which is interesting. I haven't seen a lot of people running Dime 146 against this defense. It's primarily probably because uh, RC is running with three wide receivers. So if RC was to put a running back in, um, he would be able to audible down to like I form, uh, I form or uh, I form wing, I believe, from the New England book. Not wing, I'm sorry, uh, whatever it's called with the 95 Willie. All right, so next play here looks like we're going double sell again. Ooh, that was a tight window throw, but RC is able to hit the in route. Baker Mayfield right now, 3 of 3, 24 yards, a great quarterback in the CFM mode. Because of the abilities that he has, um, his ability to make consistent throws for you in the pocket. Now, let's see here. Looks like he's going to go to gun A slot offset. This is one of my favorite formations in the game. This formation is so difficult to stop. It's probably one of the best red zone formations, in my opinion, just because of the 0-1 trap, the power O, the inside zone, all of the things that you can do from this. And if you use the live playbook version of the New England Patriots playbook, it'll give you a nice little read option that you can mix in as well. So it looks like he's going to come out and go to 0-1 trap. This should torch this defense. 0-1 trap should dominate this right here. Uh, let's see how this works out for him. A little motion over uh, to get a numbers advantage. And it gets about two yards. Now that's going to bring up a third and four. It's actually a big down in the game because if talent, if, if uh, unrated, if he could get a stop right here, what that's going to mean is he's going to be able to be up by one possession because he gets the ball at halftime. So be interesting to kind of see how this plays out here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Let's see what my man RC cooks up in a critical down and distance here from his 33-yard line. Third down and four. Going to RPO bubble. Looks like Unrated's going to dive 146. you got to believe this little bubble screen is going to be there for him. And it is not there. Great defense 
by my man, unrated. Archie's going no huddle, no huddle. Hurry up, offense. Let's see if he tries to hit an inside zone. Let's see what he does. He's going to go to doubles and sail. He's got the drag on the right side. Has the in route, a quick route to Zeke Elliott. Zeke Elliott gets to the sideline, and he fumbles the football. Oh, my goodness, unrated with the ball up the field. Big time defensive stand for unrated. Got to feel unfortunate if you're RC. You pick up the first down. But, man, you got to put your guys on conservative this year, in my opinion. Huge mistake by RC early on in this game. Now, we're going to see Unrated, and I've not honestly seen what he's doing on the offensive side of the football, so it'll be very interesting to see what he cooks up and what he brings to the dance. And it looks like uh, RC's going to run some nickel 335. Interesting. Unrated's going to come out in dice slot, single back dice slot. you got to be ready for the 0-1 trap. What's up, Bromwell? How you doing, man? Got to be ready for the 0-1 trap here. And it looks like we're going to go 3-4 odd. My man Yashi in the chat, probably a big fan of this defense. Going with a little cover four. I actually really like this defense right here. Look at this. A little cover three invert out of the cover four drop. Uh, turn the cover four drop into a cover three invert. 0-1 trap. He's got run defense for it. Nice run right there. That fumble looks like Yashi's from yesterday. That's right, man. I'll tell you what. You've got to play on conservative in these big games, in my opinion. In my opinion is so critical to play on conservative in these big games. That's just my personal opinion. You can disagree. And there you see RC is going to switch it, go back to playing conservative football. Now, this will be interesting. Second and seven, what does Unrated do? Now, one of the things you'll notice, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's actually a huge deal. You notice that RC is waiting for Unrated to pick his play. And based off of Unrated's personnel, off of Unrated's plan, that's going to allow RC to then pick the right defense, whether it's going to be 3 4 odd, whether it's going to be nickel 55 odd, so, uh, or nickel 55. Now, interesting here, three wide receiver set, but he's still going to go 3 4 odd. Got a little mesh post there. Good read from Unrated. Hits the drag route right across the face and gets a big gain right on the bait here. Got Big Ben Roethlisberger. What's up, Bromwell? Got Big Ben Roethlisberger in the pocket. This will be interesting to see. Now, if you guys are watching this video and you have not already subscribed to the channel, research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And if you're feeling extra generous, turn on no post, post notifications so you can know whenever we upload a new video, which is every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also live stream, just like tonight, every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So a lot of content. Hopefully you enjoy the videos we're able to produce for you. All right, so uh, picked up that first down on the counter. I actually like some of these runs I'm seeing. A little stretch right here. Uh, just kind of getting out there. Colonel Mustard, Raheem Mostert into the open field. And hit stick does not fumble the ball right there. So big play there by my man, unrated. All right, we've got first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line, 3-4 odd in the red zone. Be an interesting type of deal here. Yeah, you notice RC runs a lot of 3-4 odd cover four drops. So, so be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see how this plays out. All right, we got 3-4 odd. And it looks like for unrated, I think this was like uh, shotgun wing, sl wing slot maybe. Wink stack. I don't know exactly what the terminology is called, but he's got two receivers to the right, two tight ends to the left side. Running a little jet touch pass is what it looks like. Jet touch pass. Andy Isabel to the left side, and he's going to pick up a grand total of zero yards. My man RC was ready for that right there. This will be very interesting to see what RC does on defense. I know his offense is going to be a lot of trips, a lot of New England. On defense, it's actually going to be very interesting to see what he does. So far, a lot of 3 4 odd. I'll be interested to see when he goes, when he decides to go to nickel 3 through 5 or nickel 3 through 5, um, or I'm sorry, dollar 3 through 6. So it uh, looks like right here, single back dice slot. He's got a kind of a close offset formation here. You got to believe this is going to be a pass. I don't think this is going to be a run. Yep, 100% a pass right here. Runs a little HB slip screen to the left side, and he's going to scamper in for a touchdown. Colonel Mustard gets in unrated on the board early, and RC is now not really in a good position. Unrated gets ball half, and he's up by seven points. That's a big, 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 big deal. My man RC has got to answer back right here with a scoring drive. He needs to get seven points to keep himself moving forward in this matchup. 
Now, real quick, if you're watching this video and you haven't joined my text message membership, type exclamation point text in the chat. My number is 812-216-3644. We've got the far tight slot coming this week in the text message membership. Really excited to share that with you. Been labbing that for the last three or four days. Very, very excited to share you with some of the dots and some of the runs and some of the quick plays that um, that we've got cooked up for you. Yashi says, nice play call. Didn't expect that screen pass. Yeah, I did not either. I thought I, I knew it was going to be a pass. I don't think there was going to run from that look. But now it looks like RC is going to go back to what got him here. PA counter go. You got to love this play call right here from RC. Working the drag. He's got the crossing route. But Maker Mayfield threw out a sack. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Throw out a sack. Had the drag. That's a product of not taking what the defense gave you. Had the drag wide open instead. Tried to force the crossing route. And the crossing route was wide open. The only problem was the pressure got there. Throw out a sack. Pick six. Huge play of this game. Unrated is jumped out to a quick game. But here's the deal. There's a lot of football left to be played. A lot of football left to be played. I don't think Unrated's offense is that crazy good. So we'll be interesting to see what uh, what's going to happen here. This is a huge drive, though. If RC does not get points on this drive, I'm not saying it's GG's in the chat. But it's not good if he does not get points on this drive. Let's see if he fights here. Let's see what he brings to the dance. Let's see him run that PA counter go and hit the drag route this time. As that drag route was saying, please throw me the ball. I will get you 10 yards. Let's see what he cooks up right here on first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. My man unrated. Stick with that dime 146. And let's see here. Oh, we had a little technical difficulty. Got the drag right here coming. Now we're going to go with the slant route, street combo, blocking, going man-to-man -man coverage. Everything is boxed. And let's throw that. Let's throw that away. Let's not force that. Let's throw that away, man. We cannot force that route. Come on. I want to see more motion slants. I want to see more motion slants. If he's going to run man coverage on you all game out of Dime 146, I also want to see you audible down into I formation. Run the ball on him. Get him out of that defense force him to go to something else that would be my advice to a man rc in this scenario running the new england book 14 zip ball on the 25 second and 10 five minutes and 36 seconds left to go here in the second quarter split close pass for my man rc and gonna go with a little quick route there to the back latavius murray scampers into the open field really nicely Picks up about 24 yards on the play. And that's going to bring up six out of eight. What did he do? Um, he tried to hit a crossing route that really wasn't open, but he kind of forced it. It was like a route bounce. Yep, got to run the ball. Has plenty of time. Now, you'll notice right here, though, this is a different defense for my man. So it'll be interesting to see what he brings to the table right here. Now, we, I love this route combo right here. This is a really, really good one. Uh, got mesh post, basically. Um, and we're going to force feed the post. And he hits him over the end zone. Touchdown, RC. x drag trail for the win. Split close pats. One of the best offenses in the game, if I do say so myself. Everybody's running the Patriots book, but nobody runs it quite like your man rc nice read from my brother hitting that post route over the top of that cover one defense a huge play in this game shifting the momentum back to his side of the field now what he's got to do is he's got to go out and hold this man to three points or get a stop let's get it my man darren in the chat a lot of wows a lot of dots let's lock in rc What's up, Darren? Also, if you guys are watching this and you want to be a part of my CFMs, we play for cash money on Xbox and on PS4. If you want to be a part of uh, my CFMs, just shoot me a text message. Let me know you're interested. It's a $5 buy-in, and then um, and then obviously you get to compete every single single season. Initial buy-in is 10 bucks, and then every season after that is just 5 bucks to keep playing. Now, the winner of this game does get the opportunity to compete for a Super Bowl championship, but not just a Super Bowl championship, a $100 prize goes to our Super Bowl champion. All right, 3-4 odd. Let's see what's going down here. We've got second and six. Now, right there, that was close. That was very, very, very close. 
to be an interception. It looks like my man unrated is going to go to trips tight end offset formation, second and six situational football right here. And RC is going to adjust a little bit. Go to dollar three two six, and it looks like we're going to see a little bit of man coverage here. Now you've got to expect unrated to maybe hit a hit a inside zone. Honestly, uh, it looks wide open. I don't know max coverage defense. Oh one trap. I love that read. And I feel like that was more open than it actually ended up being. Third and four, ball in the 31, four minutes, and the clock is ticking here. But my man, RC, fighting back in this game. Here's the deal about CFM games. CFM games have a tendency to be a little bit longer than a head-to-head -head game. So there's a lot more time to fight and make adjustments and uh, be able to come back. We are going to start the next season of the CFM um, after New Year's, so probably on January 2nd. Good read from a man. Ours. Oh, unrated hits him. Oh, man. That was a really nice read right there. I think that was, was that just an out route? RC's got to keep his composure. Swallow a, swallow a seven. Now, lock up, go down. Get seven and get a stop. That's what you got to be telling yourself. That's got to be your self-talk in these situations. It's so easy to do what I did in my game against Yashi. When I got down, I got super deflated, super struggling, and honestly, threw the ball away so much, threw the game away so much in that game. You've got to keep your composure in these big games right here. A little nasty speed out from my man, unrated. All right, let's see what RC brings back to the table here. Now, I want to see RC run some of the simple route combos that beat man. Also, I think RC could run the streak glitch. Everybody knows that RC has trip side in. Trip side in, there is a glitch that basically just glitches out man coverage. So I will be interested to see what he does on this one. Let's see what he does in this drive. It's going to go to PA shot will. Actually, it looks like he's going PA counter go with the crosser. Bringing to Andre Hopkins in motion on that drag. Going to go with a drag and a dig. Max protect setup here from my man RC. He's got the crosser right over the middle. Marquise Goodwin with a big time first down. Again, a 14 on the play. Brings up a first and 10 ball on the 39 yard line. Uh, now, my man is still sticking with Dom 146. RC is going to go to a little, little screen. I don't necessarily like that read. Um, you got to hand the ball off to your back. Your back's wide open. The lane's wide open for him to run through. Let's give the ball to Zeke and let Zeke eat. All right, we got second and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. A little quick flat pass to Zeke. This time he holds onto the football and gets a first down. That's going to bring up third and three. This is an offensive shootout so far. Big plays all over the field. All right, ball on the 46-yard line. Three minutes, five seconds left here in the second quarter. Brings up a third and three. Now, you got to I, – I feel like he's going to run inside zone here. I really think he's going to actually give this ball to the back. I want to see him give the ball to the back. Should be wide open. Gives it to the back. Picks up the first down. First down, RC. Now, if you're RC, in my opinion, I would like to score seven going into half. I would not like to give him the ball back. Needs to run a motion slant. That's right. That's, that's what I would say, too. Want to see motion slant. Want to see him motion Hopkins over. Throw him on a slant route. Have a little whip route on the backside. Let's see what he goes to right here. He is going to go with a motion slant right here. A little zone coverage. He has Hopkins. He has Hopkins. A little secure catch right on the sideline. First down. Listen to the chat. Nice read from a man. R.C. A moniton slant, as Jay would say. What's up, Nate the Great? You think he should run some gun bunch? He does have gun bunch in his playbook. He's got some of the best plays in Madden 21 from gun bunch as well. That's what makes the Patriots playbook so powerful. Gun bunch, gun trips, gun U trips, gun spread, uh, single back, dice slot, on one trap. Really good run to be able to run down into. All right, here we go. We got first and 10 ball on the 40-yard line. And we're going to go with a little counter run 
And the counter run opens up, and he's in the open field. Zeke Elliott, 40-yard scampers into the end zone. 14-21. to 21. My man RC just put us on notice. He is going to run the ball from Trips tight end. Nice, 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 nice play from my man RC. What is up, Nate the Great? How you doing, man? Good to see you in the chat tonight. If you guys are watching this tomorrow on YouTube and you have not come to one of my live streams before, we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Madden21 Tips and Tricks. All right, so we got first and 10. Now, this is what we got to do. Here's what we got to do. My man RC's made some plays, but he really hasn't played much defense up to this point. I need to see more defense from my man. Marcus Dunson, what is happening, my brother? How you doing? Dollar 326. Now, it looks like Unrated's running the Patriots playbook as well. So we got two pass playbooks. Here. I wonder if you got the New England ebook. Running a little slip screen. Now, my man Unrated loves to mix in the slip screen. Loves to mix in the slip screen. What's up, Adrian? How you doing, man? Appreciate it. So we've got first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Tick clock is ticking here. If you're Unrated, you're good with three points. I mean, I feel like Unrated, if I'm in his shoes, I'm mentally, I'm just trying to get three because I know that I'm up by seven, I get three, and then when I come out, I have an opportunity to go get seven again because I get ball at halftime. So it's a really interesting thing. He looks like he's taking a lot of time here to pick his play uh, on this first down. I'm actually really interested in this. Uh, and he's, ah, he, I think he's going to have to take a timeout. Yep, going to have to take a timeout here. Maybe that was strategy, I'm not sure. Unrated goes to a lot of different plays. Now he's going to gun bunch. Going to see some gun bunch from Unrated here. Dollar three two six from a man RC. Looks like we're going to go with cover one max coverage. Got to watch out for the post route on the left side. Or if there's a corner route on the right side of that corner route, watch the corner route here. That could be something that he goes to. Let's see what happens here. Big Ben Roethlisberger giving the signals out. Now, Roethlisberger does not have gunslinger, so that's another thing that you got to watch out for on this play. Um, see a little max coverage here. Got a crossing route to the tight end. And he's going up top, and oh, RC with a big pick. That's a huge interception right there. If RC could go down and score, Darius Williams with a huge interception. RC's got first and 10 ball and 12 yard line, one minute, four second, and he's got three time outs to be able to get this done. We can go over the J-Wall glitch um, in just a second. If you guys do need help with that, you can always text me. But I will show you guys on stream here in just a second. I got to show you two things after this gameplay. PA counter go for my man, RC, with a first down Ravens. Now, if you're in RC shoes, I actually think it's okay to go down and just simply get three. You don't have to go get seven. You're living in a good world right here. So this is this is huge, 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 huge right here. This is a huge drive for my man, RC. He needs to come up clutch. Going to go back to a counter. I don't know that I like this play call, but he did bust us for a touchdown. He's going to go PA counter go. That crossing route's been wide open for most of this game. Want to see that drag. Let's see if he's going to put... He's got Hopkins on a dig. He's got Jackson on a drag. I'm not a big fan of this combo, but it's actually interesting. The drag route's wide open. He's got the back out of the backfield. Zeke Elliott in the open field for another first down Ravens ball in the 47. I'll tell you what, RC's looking very comfortable in trips tied in. You could tell he put the work in on this. I believe that he should have as well. Whenever you start seeing man coverage from trips tied in, try that little J-Wall glitch once. If it, if it works, then they'll stop running man coverage 100%. But maybe that's just not how RC rolls. All right, so we got second and four. Ball on the... 47 yard line and it looks like we're going to go to PA counter go again I'm not sure what he's doing right here he's got like little baby in routes is an interesting little mesh basically a mesh concept hits the in route over the middle of the field and he's going to take that and get himself another Ravens first down is looking really solid right now. Looking really solid right now. So we got first and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. It'll be interesting to see what he's going to go. PA counter go. PA counter go has been his money play 
Kind of just adapting out of this play here. Motion slant. Got the dig route. Love the dig route. I'm starting to see why he uses that dig route. He's got the crosser. Wide open. Big time laser. Marquise Goodwin. Wide open over the middle. Huge read. Now he's got 22 seconds left. Two timeouts. You got plenty of time here. Nothing to be crazy. Really nothing to worry about, honestly. He has a ton of opportunity right here to be able to go in. Tied ball game. Unrated and dominated most of the first quarter, to be quite honest. Going to RPO bubble screen, and the bubble screen is going to do some work for him. He gets it out in the open space. Marquise Goodwin up the field. He's 16 of 19 for 219 yards. One pick. Really, really solid football right now from my man, Un or from my man RC. Now, Unrated's kind of on his heels defensively. I don't feel like Unrated feels good with anything that he's doing right now on defense. I mean, my man RC has been able to walk him down the field here. He's going to go to 3 through 5 wide. Now, it'll be interesting to see what RC does down in the red zone here with this scheme. A lot of options with New England. He's going to take his back route, try to get out, and that's a really smart decision by RC. Picks up the first down, and he saved his timeouts by getting out of bounds. Really, really sharp right here. Execution, good clock management at the end of this half. That's going to give him three more plays. He's really going to be able to get three plays, and then one way or another, he's going to be able to uh, either take a field goal or score. All right, we got RPO bubble out of the trips. A little quick screen. He's going to give to Zeke. Good. I feel like he might have been able to get in there. Just missed the cut. And let's see. He's going to be on the ball on the five yard line. Trips tight end is glitchy. That's why we wrote an entire ebook on the trips tight end uh, offense. Really, the whole New England Patriots offensive playbook. There's 300 pages in it, 36 formations, over 10 hours of video content. If you want to pick up this New England Patriots offensive ebook that my man RC is running, Type in the chat, exclamation point N-E. If you're watching this on YouTube later, type in, uh, or it's in the description. All you got to do is go down in the description. It's right there for you. Little bubble screen. Scampering out, and he gets the end zone. One of the best screens in the game, in my opinion. My man, unrated, is on his heels. That is a huge, I cannot stress to you, how big of a drive you just saw from my man, RC. That's that's probably, had Yashi got a touchdown yesterday in his game, um, or had he got a two-point conversion in his game yesterday, he would have probably had the best drive of the year. That right there so far, best drive of the year, able to cap it off with a touchdown, tie the ball game, going to have with really all the momentum. And I'm pretty sure that my man, RC, has just scored 14 unanswered on my brother. All right, now here's the deal. This is a word of advice to you guys when you run man up three deep. When you run man up three deep, you want to run cover two. You want to run deep half on the short side of the man up three deep. And you want to run cover three, so a deep third on the wide side of, the, of that coverage. If you don't do that, you can get bombed. There are some bombs. We actually show one in our New England ebook how to bomb up man up three deep at the end of the game. So... You'll see here there's a crossing route, and we're going to tackle. Okay, good job. Nate, I think what you're looking for is exclamation point game in the chat. If you guys want to get a Madden game in with me, type in the chat, exclamation point game. So first half recap, honestly, um, I feel like RC shows has shown that he has a really, really good offense. My concern is that I don't know if RC can stop my man unrated. I mean, he got that pick, but that was kind of a forced throw, a bad read, really. Um, this is a big drive right here. RC is ha has all the momentum right now. The question is, if you're unrated, do you go back to that screen? What do you do in this situation? He's going to go to spread Y slot weak out of the New England Patriots playbook. Love this formation. It's one of my favorite formations in the entire game. It'll be interesting to see what he comes out and does. Now you see here, RC is going to go to a little cover three Mabel out of the nickel three three five normal formation. A little bubble screen right here from my man Unrated. Nice little quick throw, getting himself to the sideline. Bring up a second and one ball on the thirty four yard line. A little motion over the tight end, probably going to be inside zone. I feel like if he's motioning that over, yep, yeah, inside zone right down the middle. Good run, good run. All right, so we've got first and 10 ball on the 35-yard line. We've got about five minutes left in the third quarter. Um, RC, honestly, you know what? I feel like he's got to be feeling good. But 
Unrated has gashed his defense over and over and over again in this game. So my biggest concern is that he's not going to be able to stop him, and Unrated still has a possession advantage because he's going to score, and then we'll be interested to see what RC is able to do. But here he's going cover three. He does not deep half his corners. He did not deep half his corners. A little slip screen out there to Raheem Mostert. Colonel Mustard in the open field. Another huge screen. Another absolutely huge screen in this game. My man, Unrated. That man is the master of the screens. RC has got to adjust on defense. I don't feel like his defense is playing that great. Honestly, feel like he might want to just blitz him. Let's see if he sends some pressure here. He's played a lot of coverage this game. A lot of coverage. I really like this cover four invert right here. Yeah, two yellows over the middle. Well, strong power for unrated, and that's not the call. That is not the call, my man. Not against 3 4 odd. Uh, that ain't going to do nothing for you. All right, we got second and 10 ball on the 33 yard line. Let's see here. Well, inside zone, nice cut. Nice cut from a man unrated. So dollar three two six for my man RC. Looks like he's going out in gun slot offset. Dollar three two six crashing line out. Little quick screen there on the left side. You gotta watch out for that quick screen. It's a pick. It's a pick six. I think that's a pick six. I think that's it. That's literally a pick six. The flag's gonna be on the offensive line. My man RC just took control of this game. Unrated, running some stupid bubblegum stuff, honestly. Oh my gosh. 28, 21 RC unrated i don't know what you were thinking on that one. Oh man not a great play call right there because rc has shown he's going to play coverage the entire game rc has pass committed every single time if you pass commit against that bubble screen completely locks it up In my opinion not a great not a great play call are the cardinals playbook effective i want to use a playbook that has rpo and utilize kyler's speed and a bounce between the run and pass in my opinion the arizona cardinals playbook is the one of the best playbooks in madden 21 i would 100 percent say it's effective I actually have an entire book on the Cardinals playbook, exclamation point ebook in the chat. We'll get you my full Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook. It's got over 100 pages of material in it. it covers the gun spread, the gun cluster, the gun trips, uh, a lot of RPO stuff, a lot of really, really, really good spread passing concepts if you're interested. Um, so check out that. Or you can shoot me a text if you want. I can shoot you some resources on that as well. Meanwhile, my man Unrated continuing with the screen game. And in my opinion... You've got to adjust this. He's thrown he's thrown five screens. But shoot me a text message if you have any questions about the Arizona ebook. Exclamation point text in the chat. That way you can have my cell phone number. It's 812-216-3644. How do you sign up for the Xbox CFM? Just shoot me a text message and let me know you want to be in the Xbox One online CFM. All right, we got first and 10 here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Going bunch. A little wheel route. That ain't, that's not the read. That's not the read. That's not the read. But some people, if you guys, if you guys have been following, uh, if you guys have been following me for any length of time and you've seen me run the Arizona Cardinals playbook, let me know in the chat what you think of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. How you guys feel about the spread passing concepts? Uh, let, let's let uh, my man Simaje. Uh, let him know uh, what Arizona the air raid has done and what it's done uh, this season and competitive. All right, we got ball on the 35 yard line, 21 28. RC is in a good spot right now. He's got all of the momentum right here. Uh, Unrated going to go to a little inside zone. It's kind of interesting. Um, kind of interesting how similar the 3 4 odd and the dollar 3 2 6 are in this game. So we got third and four, ball on the 29-yard line. Now, the clock is starting to tick. And if you're on if you're RC, you've got a one-touchdown lead. 
if you can make him have to take about three more minutes to score, two minutes to score, as you see here, a little misaligned glitch. Little man. Oh, little SWAT hawk. Dang. Little SWAT hawk. Now, this is critical here. Forcing him to take a field goal. So, then what this means... Unrated's got to take a field goal. So he's going to go, it's going to be to 24 to 28. So now what's going to happen is, oh, he missed it. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, he missed the kick. He just missed that kick. Oh, my goodness. He just missed the kick. He's got to be, he's got to be so upset. Dang, he just missed the kick. Well, if you're RC, <laughs> go down and get three and you win the game. All right, let's see here. RC's going with a little stretch bubble. I like the play call. Now, you can tell that he wants to run out of the single back doubles. Now, if it was me, I would be running a lot of one-one traps, a lot of power O. Uh, I think the pat. I think, if I remember correctly, the Patriots have an O one one trap from their single back trips. Also, ace close is another good formation to kind of run down the clock with a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're right in a position where you need to start clocking. But I think you got to at least be cognitive where it should see inside zone right here. 100% inside zone. He breaks it right up the middle. That's the perfect play call right there from my man RC. Puts himself in field goal range, and this might be over. If he chews clock right here, you if you're RC, if you just want to get the W, right, you don't want to be like Cody and just kind of force stuff, in my opinion, you run the ball three times, you take a field goal, and you force him to drive. That's what I would do. It's really hard to bomb the defense over the top this year. Um, if you know the right adjustments, RC obviously knows the right adjustments to that. So I kind of would play probably if I was in this game. I mean, you got to take this to the fourth quarter. But it looks like he's going to have about six minutes. If I'm RC, you got to take this to the quarter. Oh, he's going to snap it. Oh, that's a bad decision. Oh, but he's going to get it. He's going to get a touchdown. I stand corrected, and that is why you don't run dime one four six, right there, boys. It's the best pass defense in the game. The only problem is, what if they run the ball? Huge, 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 huge play. My man Seth chimes in. He says he can't believe he lost. So dumb how he lost. Did exactly what he was not supposed to do. He forced passes, and he didn't take his checkdowns. Be quite honest with you, Seth. That's how I lost too, my friend. All right. we got So we got two touchdown advantage right here. RC's got to be feeling good. Now, if I'm RC... This is, where you, this is where you straight up, I literally, this is no lie, if I was in this situation and I wanted to win this game, I'm coming out in man up three deep every play. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds rude. I know it sounds not cool. You're playing for a chance to go play for $100 cash. You run man up three deep. You run man up three deep, in my opinion. 35-21. Now, he's a run dollar, which is close, but... Now, this is interesting. Unrated has hit a lot of screens, so you got to watch out for the screens. The other thing is, it'd be interesting to see if he runs the ball. He's facing dollar. Um, this looks like a little bit of an auto motion. No, it wasn't auto motion. A little, oh, a little play action. A little, little slant route to Demir Bird in the open field. Almost juked him out. My man... Uh, Claudius says next season he's going to dominate, not losing a single game. All right, let's see. He's going to go the same setup. A little quick pitch this time in the open field. Gets a good gain. He's going to be able to get out of bounds. He might be in the end zone. He makes one more juke. Breaks a tackle inside the five-yard line. Now, this is terrible defense. I will not lie. I will not lie. Yashi wants to get a head-to-head -head game in? Yeah, we can do that, bro. 0-1 trap. I feel like RC's not playing the greatest defense in this situation. He's coming out in single back eights, and you're coming out in dollar. Come out in 3-4 odd and recover for a drop. Even come out in, like, even if you came out in 3-3-5, it probably wouldn't get ran on that much. All right, right here, 3-4 odd. This should be covered for... Cover four drop with the hard flats on the outside. And hits the bubble screen. Touchdown, Browns. 
We got a ball game. We got a ball game. As my man Air Ray would say, prevent defense, prevents wins. That's actually a good quote. My man Newt, what do I need to do to get into the next CFM? You need to shoot me a text. If you've already shot me a text, I gotta go through my phone still. I've got a lot of text messages I gotta respond to. I've been a little bit under the weather the last couple days. All right. 35-28. But to be honest, unrated has not been stopped since the first drive. I, or, uh, since I throw out a sack pick, uh, or not unrated, RC. New England Patriots ebook has not been stopped in this game. He's been stopped by a throw out a sack pick and a fumble. That's how good that offense is. All right, let's see here. RPO alert bubble. And he's going to stay in dollar 326. Now there, uh, his inside, inside stuff does a good job. Second and nine, ball on the 24, 37 seconds left in the game, or 37 seconds left on the play clock. So we got about four minutes left. Realistically, he can stop it twice, and he's got two minutes. So if RC, RC needs at least two first downs. He needs two first downs to put this game on ice and go to the Super Bowl. Now he's got third and three. What's my favorite I formation for runs? Uh, the I form uh, slot in the Oakland Raider or Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Uh, and he's given him this flat route all game long. Stay in balance. That's a great play. My man RC is going to ice the game with a flat route. Looks like. Let's see what he does here. He's going to put Latavius Murray in. This has been a really, really good showing by RC's offense, in my opinion. Very, very good showing. He's consistently hit him. He's hitting him over the top. He's hitting him consistently for quick gains. Gonna go to a little inside zone. All right, so we're gonna bring this down as two minute warning. So realistically, if RC gets a first down here, pretty sure the game is cooked. Especially with 40 seconds. I think he has a 40 second play clock, so he should be good. If he's able to get this first down right here, he's probably got it. Oh, yeah, this is second seven. Yeah, he definitely has it. So the question is, what's Unrated going to do? Now, it looks like Unrated's getting really, really aggressive against the run, as you can notice right there. So RC's throwing his flat route. I would like to see RC throw him on a swing route. I'm actually becoming a big fan of swing routes because they don't get picked by hard flat defenders. Even if their hard flats are on like zero yards. All right, third and five, RPO alert, bubble. He's going to throw the bubble. Oh, he doesn't throw it. They had the bubble wide open. So unrated is going to have time. You've got to punt this ball. Man, I feel like you have to punt this ball right here. Mm, that's an interesting call from RC. He's going to go for it. Man, I really, I don't know about this decision. Let's see, if he, let's see what happens here. He's going to try to dot him up. Fourth and seven for the game. He's trusting his offense. Run the slant. Probably got the dig. Yep, I love this concept. The little crossing. A lot of stuff coming across your face. He's got the crosser. But the only problem is under pressure, inaccurate. And that's why I don't like that play call. <laughs> we got ourselves a little bit of ball game here. Unrated exactly what he wanted. All right, we got 28 to 35, ball on the 43 yard line, left side of the field, running I-form uh, form slot close. Haven't seen a lot of this this year. Might be a jet sweep. Let's see what he does here. Cover four invert. Runs a stretch to the left side, interesting. Yeah, that was a huge stop. That was a huge stop. My man RC had the crossing route wide open. Only problem was he took too long to get in the ball. All right, let's see here. We've got second and nine. Ball 
ball is on the 42. A little slant, a little cross, a little... And, oh, he... Oh, he almost got him. Oh, that was a... That was almost a lob touch. Oh, man, that was close. If you're... If you are RC, I feel like cover three invert with Mabel forces him to go to the middle of the field. He doesn't have... He only has two timeouts. Like, I don't know. I said I form slot. Yeah. For runs. Also, I, I mean, I form tight's really good, too. All right, so he's going to cover three. The only problem is he's not Mabel, and he's not putting that deep half out there. He needs to put that deep half on the left side. If he doesn't put the deep half on the left side, it could be trouble. Could be trouble. And he's going to throw it. I think, oh, he had him. He ends up forcing the weirdest throw I've ever seen to the outside flat. And that's going to bring a fourth down and nine. Seth, man, what are you talking about? All right, so this is your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth and nine right here. Ball in the 42. All right, he's going to pistol bunch tight end. He's motion his receiver out. Now, we're still going with deep drops here, so... I hope he doesn't. He's got the crosser. Oh, a user swat. And that's GG's in the chat. That crossing route was close to being wide open, but not going to be there. Man. Great game. Great game by my man RC. If you guys are just tuning into the channel, we're going to jump into how to stop the user rush here in just a second. But real quick, big round of applause in the chat for RC and Unrated. Great game in the CFM. Also, if you're watching this on the archive show, uh, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you have any questions about our online uh, PS4 or Xbox One CFMs, shoot me a text message. $100 cash prize is going to go to the Super Bowl champion of both of these leagues. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in our next video.